All right, everyone. We have core plus stretch today. We're gonna start standing on top onto our mat. Shoes are optional today. The other thing that you're gonna need is either a five pound or an eight. So just one lighter dumbbell. All right, let's warm it up. Wide stance, feet slightly turned out. Squat it down and up. Start your devices if you are tracking. Now the other thing, if you are following our weekly challenges, our weekly fitness challenge, this week is, is to complete a 25 minute workout. So you're here, you're logged on. Um, what you can do, go on to Yammer, which is now Viva Engage. Go under our weekly challenges, say you've done it, and then you can be entered in a drawing for Virgin Pulse points. Two more. Last one. Let's wake up your hamstrings, hinging it forward, reaching it up and around. Same thing, other side. So we have about a three minute warm up. We have eight exercises today. We're gonna run through two times. Each exercise is roughly about 40 to 45 seconds. One more each side. Last one. Now come back to your wide stance. You're gonna drop your elbows to the inside of your knees. Push your knees out. And now lengthen your legs and your arms. Hinge it forward. Go back to that first position. Knees or elbows to the inside of your knees. And then lengthen your legs. Hinge it forward. Alternating between these two motions. Keep it going. Holding each pose for about three to four seconds. Let's finish out one more. Now roll it back up one vertebrae at a time. As the last to return, you're just gonna swim the arms back. Swim it back. Waking up through your shoulders. Range of motion. Now once we're done with our warm up, we're gonna move it down to the mat and we're gonna stay there for the remaining time. Now reverse the direction, swim it forward. Keep it going. Just gonna adjust my camera here, zoom in just a little bit, and go ahead and release. All right, friends, bring yourself down to the floor. Grab your one lighter dumbbell. Take a seat, roll it off of your sit bones. You're gonna do a dumbbell pass. So from side to side. Here we go, 45 seconds. Now you're gonna notice that that weight is gonna wanna shift you from side to side. Don't do it, don't do it. Use your abdominals. Deep spinal stabilizers. Now if you want more challenge, try this with the feet lifted. A lot more, a lot harder for balance. Now we're gonna stay with this dumbbell for the next one. We're gonna go into a roll up to a chest press. Five seconds, doing good. Three, two, one. Now legs go straight, reach the arms out. Now pull it into the chest, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Roll it all the way up, weight stays to the chest. Chest press at the top, pull it in. Roll it down, roll it up. Chest press at the top. Now if you need to use a little more, I don't want to say momentum, but if you, if you lengthen the arms, that's going to help assist you to bring you all the way back up to a seated position. Same thing as you roll down. We're going to go into a side plank. Coming up next with a shoulder press. We have five, four, three, two, and one, now at home, come onto your right side, stack your legs, take the weight into the top arm, shoulder press. Another option, you can lower down to your bottom knee, okay? But adding that weight is gonna really light up the bottom side of your obliques, but also add shoulder work at the same time. 
So at home, your weight is into your left hand. 10 seconds. Then you're gonna keep it into your left hand. We come into a quadruped position. In five, three, two, and one. Onto all fours. Lift your right leg. Lift your left arm. Tricep kickback. Two point tries. Keep your elbow in line with your rib cage. Keep your weight shifted forward. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side, starting with the side planks, and then the two point tries. 15 seconds. Maintaining the height of your leg directly out from your hip. Five, four, three, two, and one, switch it around. At home, you're on your right or your left side. Stack your legs, find your position, and we're here, shoulder press. Now, shoulders and hips are square. Make sure that you're not twisting and rotating. Twenty seconds. Then we have the tricep kickbacks. Ten, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Onto all fours. Left leg is lifted. Keep the weight into the right hand. And we go. Now after this, we're gonna ditch the weight. You're gonna lie down onto your back. Same concept with this one. Keep your shoulders and hips square. your weight off to the side. Feet go flat down to the floor. Hands back behind your head. Flex it forward. Tilt right, left, center, and lower. And again, flex it forward. Now tilt left, right, center, return. So versus a bicycle crunch, adding rotation, it's more of a lateral flexion. 20 seconds. One exercise left. Quick break, then we do it one more time. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and send your legs straight. Now, you're gonna scissor the legs, flex it forward. Same thing, other side, alternating. You can do this with the knees bent, if that feels better. Okay. You can also place the hands back, by, back behind your head to help support. Twenty seconds. It's a little more targeted abs. Five. Three. Two. One and done, whoo, 30 seconds off. Stretch it out, round one done. Now that first exercise, we go back to your seated dumbbell pass. Grab a quick drink of water. You got about 13, uh, 13 seconds. Okay. Start to grab your dumbbell, round it off of your sits bones. Feet stay down or up, let's go. Passing the weight, side to side. Think about gluing your inner thighs together. Then we go into our roll up with our chest press. Twenty seconds. Now if you're finding that you're feeling this, 
mostly in your hip flexors and your quads versus your abs. Do it with the feet down and focus on your abdominal engagement. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Take a seat to the front edge of your mat. Roll it down. Roll it up. Press it at the top. As you roll down, really draw your belly button in toward your spine. Another option to do a half roll back. 15 seconds. Then we go into our side planks. Five, three, two, one. At home, you're on your right side. Right side, take the weight into your left hand. Lift it up, here we go. And you can also do this completely body weight. If you wanna hold that position and just add the arm movement, that helps to challenge your abdominals as well. 20 seconds. We go into our tricep kickbacks. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Five, three, two, one. Onto all fours, keep the weight into that hand. Lift your right leg, and here we go. Extending it back and bend. Anti-rotation. And make sure that you're not shifting your weight back. Keep it directly over the hand, directly over your hip. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, switch route to the other side. Find your position. And here we go. The ton of shoulder work as well. Twenty seconds, you're halfway there. Come on, come on, you got 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Flip it onto all fours. Left leg lifts. Here we go. Kick it back and bend. Head stays in line with your spine. Eye gaze is down to the floor. Fifteen seconds. And we lie down onto our back. The crunch with the tilts. Five, three, two, and one. Weight goes off to the side. Feet flat down to the floor, here we go. Lift, tilt, tilt, center, down. Try to alternate right, left, left, right. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, one. Awesome job. Flex it forward. Reach, scissoring the legs.
We're almost there, then you get to stretch. Twenty seconds. Ten. Home stretch. Three, two, last one. Awesome job. Pull your knees to your chest. Nice little knee hug. Just gently rock it from side to side. Deep breathing. Just holding it here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. I'm just gonna switch my playlist here. We'll stay here for another 10 seconds. Using this time to completely relax through your shoulders, your hips, hamstrings, head and neck. And now go ahead and flip onto your uh, left side. So in studio, we're on our right we'll do some spinal rotation. Now use your bottom arm as a pillow. Keep your hips stacked. Your top arm is gonna reach up and then open out to the back of your space. And again, keep that top hip square so that's stacked on top of the bottom. You'll get a nice stretch through the front of your pecs, your shoulders, and then return it back together. Let's do it again. Reaching up and open, hips stay stacked. And draw it back in. We're gonna go into our bretzel. So it's a quad stretch and um, a hip. So you're gonna bring your top leg forward, bring your bottom leg back, your top arm is gonna reach back and around. You're gonna grab your bottom foot and hold it there. So again, it's a great one for your quadriceps and your hips. If you're arching through your back, try not to do that. Almost think about pressing your hips forward. Stay here for another 10 seconds. And go ahead and gently release. Let's switch around to the other side, starting with that spinal rotation. Bottom arm as a pillow. Stack your hips. And reach your top arm up to the ceiling. Open out, keeping the hips square. And return all the way back in. Let's do it one more time. Reaching it up first and opening out. And pull it all the way back in. Going into our bretzel stretch, bring your top leg forward, bring your bottom leg back a little bit, reach up and around, grabbing the foot if you can. Hold it here. Stay here for another 10 seconds. And go ahead and gently release, flip it onto your belly. Let's go into some extension. 
prep it up to your forearms and draw your shoulders down and then bring your eye gaze kind of slightly forward. Now maintain this position, but just tuck your chin in toward your chest, stretching the back of your neck. You can kind of tilt from side to side if you want, whatever feels good. Go ahead and lower all the way down to the floor. Now use your hands, press the hands down into the floor. You're gonna press all the way up into extension. If you can, if this is not a good motion for you, bring it back down to your forearms. And now go ahead and lower all the way back down. Let's press it back into a child's pose. Big toes together, knees are separated, just offsetting that extension. And then go ahead and roll it all the way back up. I'm gonna turn to face the camera at home. Bring your uh, right leg directly out to the side. Make sure the inside of your foot is flat down to the floor. And then you're gonna reach your right arm up and over to get a nice lateral flexion. Bring it back up center. Let's do the same thing other side. Let's do it again, up and over to your first side. And center up and over to the other side. Return it back center, place your hands down to the floor. If you can, sink your hips back toward your heel. Draw the toes up of your right foot and flex that foot. Just stretching your inner thighs. And now use your hands to rock it back forward and then press yourself back up. Let's do the same thing, other side. Left leg reaches out, flex your foot. Reach your right arm up and over, tilting toward your leg. Return back center, let's do the other side. And center, up and over to the first side. And up and over to the other side. Center it back out. Place the hands down to the floor. Sink your hips back. Draw the toes up of your left foot. Flex your foot. Stretching inner thigh. your hands down, rock it back forward. And let's come into a wide stance, draw your heels down. Think of more of a yogi pose. Now, if this is too much, bring it up to more of a squat position, kind of what we started with, with the knees to the inside, or the elbows to the inside of your knees. If you're down into your yogi squat, think about pushing the hands together and the elbows separate your knees. Drawing your shoulders down. And now set your hands down, lengthen your legs, bring the feet parallel, just dead hang, stretching the hamstrings. Walk it over to your left side. And now over to your right. And return back center. One more stretch in the center, maybe going a little bit further. And now go ahead and roll it back up one vertebrae at a time. And your head is the last to return. 
Roll your shoulders back. Awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining class today. We will see you next time.